Hi everyone, welcome to this new video. Uh, in today's video, we are going to keep working on the demo project that we started a couple of videos ago, in which I wanted to showcase how to integrate MLflow in an actual machine learning project. So I'm going to start by sharing the screen. And this is what we had before. We have our uh, model, right? But we don't have a model schema for this model. We don't have tags, metrics, parameters, and description. So in today's video, we are going to see how to include or how to add this metadata um, using MLflow. So let me show you the code. And the first change that I want to show you is here in the train model function. I am using scikit-learn a method to infer the signature, right? Scikit or oh, MLflow, sorry, MLflow has this method called infer signature, which uh, can help me to get the signature of the model um, only by providing the the input data of this model. Um, then, once we have the signature, I can pass this as a parameter in the method log model. Uh, now, another change is here, in which we have get performance plots. Uh, sorry, this is not the function. This one get get classification metrics. So here I am using again scikit-learn. I have um, accuracy score, precision score from scikit-learn.metrics just to calculate some uh, metrics, right? So this uh, function will return a dictionary with the metrics. Now let me walk you through the entry point. This is the entry point. Um, here this is the name of experiment. Uh, the name of the run. Here we are getting the data frame. Here we are splitting the data set into testing, uh, scoring, and training data. Then we are getting the pipeline using scikit-learn. And in this case, we only have numerical features. Categorical features is empty. Uh, we are starting the MLflow experiment. Then we train the, the pipeline. In this case, we are passing training data. We are getting some predictions. Then, with the predictions, we can um, get the classification metrics, right, to measure the performance of the model. Now we have performance uh, plots, and here we are starting. We we are starting a new MLflow run using the same run ID the, in which we log the machine learning model. So here we are using log matrix to log the matrix, log parents to log the parents. As you can see here, I am using a special notation, list notation, to get the last component of the pipeline. Notice the model is a singular pipeline. And as we can see here, the last component is the classifier. Since I am interested in the parameters of this classifier, I am just choosing the last component of the pipeline here. Right, the and that get parents. Here, the I am creating a tag called type, and the value is classifier. Now, in order to update the description field in MLflow, I had to use this notation, this special tag MLflow.node.content, and I am adding, let's say, a brief description of the model. And finally, we are logging uh, the figures, the performance plots. Now I'm going to run this code here. It seems that there are some issues with the data types in the training set, but let's ignore this for now. Okay, probably because there is, uh, yes, I am using integers in um, in the target column. So let's do mlflow.ui. Okay, here we are. Now we have a new uh, run. Okay, now as you can see here, we have the model schema. We have the inputs and the output. Uh, we have tags, type classifier, metrics, uh, parameters, all the parameters that are coming from the pipeline, and the description. This is a classifier for the house pricing dataset. So this looks okay. 
And that's everything for this video. Uh, in the next video, we're going to use uh, the model registry because so far we only have models here in the experiments, but models is empty, right? So in the next video, we're going to use a model registry. Um, um, we're going to use um, MLflow to, to score the model. So thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.